Hi everyone, I'm Jim Collinson. I'm user experience designer here at MadeSafe. We're building the Safe Network, a new internet where your data isn't owned by corporations, but a decentralized internet where all of humanity's data is stored and served by the spare capacity of home computers and everyday devices. A new web built on principles of privacy, security, and equality. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. How you'll be able to offer up the resources of your home computer and be rewarded for it through a small program called a Vault. How are we going about designing that experience? From using a Vault to get started on the network, to just offering some hard drive space and being rewarded for it in a cryptocurrency inherent to the network called Safecoin. Let's jump in and take a look at what we've been working on. So before I take you through these, let me explain a bit about the designs you'll see and how we'll be iterating on them. Our goal here is to make a minimum viable experience for a robust network and then build on it, improving and evolving this experience rapidly right through to launch and beyond. But first, focusing on the core essential features to build that robust base. We're also focusing purely at functionality with the upper layers of look, feel and visual interface design coming later. So we've taken a relatively vanilla design system to construct this functionality from, and this will get all the polish and sparkle later on. What you see here also looks a bit mobile, doesn't it? Even though what we're designing for vaults is predominantly, but not exclusively for desktops initially. That's just a way of us rapidly rolling out a suite of designs using a common system based on a happy common denominator. These designs will of course be adapted and expanded for desktop use in the coming months, but what we have here can demonstrate all the functionality required. I hope that makes sense. So first things first, how can you use a vault on your computer to create a new account? You'll perhaps remember from my last video, I walked you through the option for a friend who already has an account sending you an invite, which would have all you need to get up and running. But today I'll show you how you could do that by yourself, just with your computer by running a vault. So here we go. I'm going to choose to earn an account invite through running a vault. I get a little bit of a rundown here, but when I'm ready to go, it's as simple as hitting this button here. I can select what part of my hard drive I'd like to lend to the network, where exactly it'll store all these encrypted files. You won't be able to read or understand any of this data, by the way, so no worries there. You'll probably not even have any complete data anyway, as everything that is uploaded to the network is split into chunks and distributed across many, many vaults. And all of these chunks are encrypted, and the only person who holds the key to them is their owner. So I get to decide how much space I'd like to allocate to the network. We make this easy by taking a look at the remaining space on the drive that you selected and give you some, giving you some useful presets. This could also be useful in the future to tune to the network requirements or give you some handy presets to allow you to have the best chance of earning rewards. Or if I want to, of course, I could enter a specific value here if I choose to. And when I'm ready to go, I just hit start vault and it's doing its thing. Here I can see the vault is connected and it's started loading up with data from the network. And once it's done that, it'll start serving up this data to other safe users and earning awards. And in this case, generating you a neatly packaged invite. Once it's done its thing, it's earned enough safe coin for an invite. You'll see a notification banner like this. The vault keeps on running, of course, with any excess safe coins accruing, which you can see here. But maybe I'll go back to the home screen though. Um, I've still got the banner here, which I could dismiss if I'm not ready to create my account, but the, the vault is still there doing its thing, earning me safe coin. And because I've got an invite waiting for me, I can always at any point go here and create my account. So I go through the account creation process, quite easy, I choose my login, I set up my safe ID for myself and I'm ready to go. I won't show you that here, but um, very straightforward. And once I've done that, I'm prompted with the option to link this vault to my account. 
I'll come back to that in a few minutes, but for now, we will we will skip it. So here we are. We have an account. We're logged in. And of course, the vault is still running, earning Safecoin for me and serving that data to the world. And I can log out here. And of course, it will carry on. It'll be doing its thing. I don't even need to have an account to run a vault on a computer. Uh, I can happily do that. And in fact, let's take a look at that. So here we are. Let's start and run a vault on another computer without using it to create an account or logging in. It's very straightforward. Here we can see I have an empty vault ready to go. I've allocated a gigabyte of storage to it and all I do is hit start. Off it goes, gathering data. If it proves itself a reliable host to this data, then before long, it will start earning Safecoin. I can quickly see what it's doing from the home screen here. And if I need to, I can stop the vault here, should I choose. And I can easily restart it, at which point it has to prove its resource for a little while again before it can start earning more safe coins. And I can see a log of events here too, by the way. Things like the vault starting, earning a reward, or being promoted, which gives it a better chance of earning rewards. Or in this case, um, it automatically restarting too. Right, now let's take a look at some of the basic settings of a vault, which I get to here. At the moment, I'm not logged into my Safe Network account, but if I do, I have the option of linking a vault I have running on my machine here to my Safe Network account. I just bump in some credentials here and choosing to link a vault to an account has several advantages. First off, if I link it, all the safe coins that I've earned are swept into my default account wallet and any future earnings too. So I can use this running vault to fund my use of the network or other types of spending. On top of that, those safe coins and any important settings are protected behind my account login. And on top of that, in the future, we'll be able to expand out the functionality of the Safe Network app to support the remote monitoring or management of vaults all linked to a single account. So you could have vaults set up and running on several machines and see what's going on with them, say from your mobile device. And of course, they'd all be paying into your account wallet. Of course, I can also change the location of the locally stored files or allocate more space to the vault as well. And if for any reason, I don't want to have the safe coin this vault is earning going into my default account wallet, I could change that here as well. So I can add any safe ID here or any wallet address and the funds will be sent there. So I just get a little confirmation of the funds that it's going to sweep into this wallet before I commit. And of course, I can remove that wallet at any point too, and it'll just revert back to paying funds into my default wallet or if I haven't linked the vault to an account, those funds will just stay with the vault and ready to be sent elsewhere when, I'm when I choose to. And then we have the option to turn on and off automatic restarts, which is sensibly defaulted to on. And there we have it, a whistle stop tour of the basics of a vault. And as always, if you have any thoughts or suggestions or questions, drop them in the comments below or over on the forum at safenetforum.org.